Hello everybody and welcome back to Riftbreaker. Last time we started off with our little base here. I finished up building up the walls and defenses and so on. But I'm definitely going to be making some improvements. I did a little bit of solo playing on a separate save and I've realized that um, we're going to need a lot more defenses later on. As you can see we still have one of our power plants running here. I'm not sure if that's one of our plants or one of our... Yeah, that's one of the power plants. Over here is our factories. And then we have our batteries over here or our CPUs. Now, we need to upgrade our HQ. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just pop out and see what's the, what, what did I do over here? Oh, it's another generator and some turrets. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, I don't know if we have access to our research yet. No, we still need to build the communication hub. So, first things first, let's get this base upgrade going. Headquarters upgrade in progress. This will attract a lot of attention. We should reinforce our defenses as much as we can. Things are going to get very hot very soon. Yeah, I can agree there. Okay, so... We have our sword, our laser, and then our machine gun. And it looks like they're gonna be coming from the top. So how long until they attack? Two minutes. Okay. In that case, let's see if we can get I some. I'm glad we are back on the same page about properly securing our base. We can't save this world if we let it kill us, hey, Mr. Grumpy? Why do you insist on calling me names? <laughs> I hope you're not offended, are you? No, that would be inefficient. Come on, Riggs, let's not be so serious. I had to give you a better name than what they called you. Rip Jump and Exploration Mega Suit Mark IV, Griffin Variant. What is wrong with that name? It's inefficient. Ah, looks like I accidentally built. Over one of my gates. Sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. They are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Okay, so come on. Let me just squeeze past. Base is under attack. Construct more advanced buildings and items. Build a communications hub as soon as possible. Okay, let's remember to build some additional power plants for it. It consumes a lot of energy. Threat neutralized. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Okay, 
This seems to be losing a little bit of power, but considering it's night time, it kinda makes sense. <sighs> Right, so we should have access to the communications hub now, I believe. Okay, I just want to clear all of this out so that I can actually see how much space I have to work with here. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Yeah. Okay. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. So let's get that first communication hub in. Communications hub construction in progress. We can download all the technology blueprints that we need through this building's quantum entanglement template matrix. It's a pity that we can't upload anything back to Earth. There's so much data to be gathered here, I can't wait to start collecting research specimens. We will be able to share all of our research data as soon as the Rift station is operational and the Rift back to Earth has been opened. Let's focus on that first. Wind speed is at a low today. Wind turbines are less effective. That'll have to do for now. I actually love that we actually have a thermal link right here. On my other save, oh, I wish I had that thermal link. Right, -o, so, I'll you. You're about 40 seconds. I see we have something over here. Just squeeze another gate in here. Nope. Ooh. Wind is picking up again. That's some campers. Another little group over here. The communications hub construction finished. We can now use it to download new technologies. Okay, so now that we have access to that... Why do I only have one Carbonium factory going? Um... Okay, you still have carbonium ore. Hmm. Okay, so let's see, take a look at our research. Okay, so to start off, we're definitely gonna want to grab biomass would be nice, but I wanna grab I want to get to that, which needs HQ level 3, okay. I would say let's get the radar going. 
as well as the biomass burner, followed by the um, Spit Tower Ammunition, Signal Tower Level 2, Cobalt Handling, Orbital Scanning, and then lastly, the Repair Towers. We can also unlock some extra goodies for the mech itself, but I'm not going to go into that this early. While that's running, I actually want to quickly take a look around, see if we can maybe get some more deposits. Why does this map feel so small compared to the other one? Or is it just me? <laughs> Ashley, now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's true. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. This is why I want to do a little bit of exploration. Storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Did I already do the? But they only really gave us the bio plant biomass burner. Okay. So we have some more carbonium here and some more, Build more storage facilities. Here. So the question is gonna be where's a nice little open spot we can build our gate. Um just for your knowledge, I won't be doing a full playthrough of this, even if I wanted to. It's just a where the games like these tend to take a lot of time and if I were to record a lot of it I would, uh, since I edit all my own videos it would take quite a substantial amount of time to edit it all down and so on. But what I will do most definitely is give you a little later on, give you a little bit of a glimpse on my other save, how a later game base ends up looking. So, I would say this looks like a pretty good spot. So... Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet been developed. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak. You were selected for the Rift Jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. 
You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting, but they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Mm. Okay, I would like to keep that inside the base. This is why I like getting these little radar dishes. Because they have two things that they're going to help us a lot with. One, we're going to be able to see a bit further from our base. Like up there, we can see we have some. Um, the construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The Fusion Field Accelerator requires enriched uranium. The Hyper Particle Condenser requires palladium. And the Quantum Gate Stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. How much power do these do? A hundred. Is rising. It's going to rain in a moment. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. This How rain is left on to our base, but it decreases solar panel efficiency until it stops. Well, it's dark, so I seriously doubt our panels were doing anything. Like I said, now that you can, now you guys can see, we have a little bit of a radar coverage now, and as you can tell, we've got some company. The one thing I just want to do real quick is I want to put a radar in here as well. Right, now, as you guys saw here with the story, we are going to build the orbital scanner now, and we've constructed a couple of other things. We can craft some new weapons. That's a good idea. The enemy attacks are getting constantly stronger. We need better guns. So, um, not to interrupt the main story here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly give you a little bit of a glimpse 
will help our, our base looks a bit further on. So I'll be back in a bit. And we're back. Okay, so as you can tell, this Bio is my depleted. Not enough animal biomass. Not enough plant biomass. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Okay, are you two done? This is, as you can see, we've been playing for 24 days on this one. This is my personal save where I've been spending some time figuring the game out and so on. And as you can see, I have built the base up quite a fair bit Iron here. Deposit depleted. So up here, for some Not reason, plant biomass. we got this core up here. So we got teleported up here. So now, as you can see, I've already upgraded the walls and so on. I mean, if we were to go into my research, you'll see that I, I'm fairly... I'm about halfway. At this point, for me to start getting access to the newer things, you'll see here, it tells me I need to get access... Um, uh, it, it's going to start asking for the next HQ level. So, uh, what is everything going on about up here? Iron deposit depleted. Not enough plant biomass. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. Here's another little bit of our outcrop, but as you guys can see here, we've run out of materials here. So that means I'm going to be deconstructing this because we will be able to make use of this in another in another area. But at this point, we need to get um, we need to use the orbital s Iron deposit system. Depleted. So I thought this would be a good time to actually show you guys how it looks when you switch between areas. And I'll probably have to phone down the game's volume quite a bit while I'm talking and doing this at the same time. And yes, I have actually figured, found out that they can attack these little connections, which can be a bit of a problem. So, let us pop in to the scanner. So we actually have three areas that we can go off to at the beginning. We have the radioactive area, which doesn't have a carbo, doesn't have a lot of carbonium and uh, ironium. Unlike our headquarters, which has a lot of them. The acidic area doesn't have a lot of it, but it does have some geothermal vents. And then the volcanic area doesn't have a lot of it either. So, I'm thinking... Let's take a look at the acidic plains, because that looks like a first thing. And then over here you can see our global objective, which is construct a quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium, construct a hyperparticle condenser, which requires palladium, and then construct a fusion field accelerator, which requires uranium. Now just to show you how it actually looks, I've also set up like a little teleporter system. This is how our gate looks at the moment. I'm probably going to need to move a couple of things around later. But I've had to actually put piping in. And my layout is not the best. But basically this sludge has been, we've been pumping this up, filtering it out and then making use of it. Now, there is, was, or is, some titanium over here. But, or cobalt, my mistake, cobalt. New technology has been developed. New the buildings thing are is, available for construction. For some reason, I don't know why, but... There's still cobalt here, why aren't we gathering it? 
Or don't we have enough power over here? No, we have enough, more than enough power here. Hmm. I'll have to take a little bit of a look. Yeah, we do have to. I'll have to take a look at this. But... Let's travel over to the Acidic Plains area, because this place has always piqued my interest. So let's open a rift and see how it looks over here. Just that plant is already piquing my interest. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Could just see that thing like chomping down on Mr. Wiggs. Scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so we have acidic pools. I'm fairly certain we're probably gonna use that for something. I'm gonna need to keep in mind that... Oh no, I'm still getting my ammo back. Kinda. It's a bit slow. So let's see if we can find where this acid is. Do they actually have an indicator about where? No, it doesn't look like it. These plants don't seem to be combustible. This is interesting. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Picking up acidic fume emissions near our position. Ah, so it's over okay, there. Let's go there to see what is causing them. I see that we're training Ironium for some reason. I'll have to go take a look at that. But I think it's because we do have some factories that are running over at the main base. has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. I'll do that in a bit. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to Earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. Oh, 
Okay, so how do we go about that again? Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before setting up a permanent outpost in this area of the planet. Ashley, I strongly suggest using a bioscanner to gather samples from these life forms. The fluid inside them is a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bioscanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. I'd say let's quickly sort that out, otherwise they're gonna drive me nuts trying to... The fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't seem to figure this out right now, and my video is getting a little long. So, I'm gonna end this, and I will w probably one day upload another video just to show how things look even later in the game. This is Thunderwolf, and goodbye. New technologies are available for development.